Welcome to Top Tier Trader. I'm your host, Grant Hardy, and we're coming all the way from the Maldives with a special interview. And we got Chris on the other line in Georgia. Chris, man, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell the people how you're doing? What's going on, man? It's Christopher Proctor uh, on Instagram, known as It's Runner Baby at Wall Street Runner. Um, I'm here with Top Tier Trader, man, uh, uh, my boy Grant Hardy. Yes, sir, man. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? What do you What do you do, man? So, so like I said, just about uh, September, I took on trading full time. Um, around actually, the crazy, crazy story. The, the day um, Dolph passed, I passed tier one, the top tier trader, and then the day of his funeral, uh, I actually passed top tier um, oh, wow. two. Yeah, so so that's crazy. I'm but, sorry uh, for yeah. your loss. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. RP that boy dog. But um, yeah, for sure. So you know, um, so I took on the full time trading as of September. That happened for me, like I said, in November. So I'm I'm just going with the process. It seemed to be working out for me, so I'm going with it. Wow, how's how's the full time trading life treating you? You enjoying it? Hey, Loving it? it? I mean, yeah, the time freedom, man. You can't you can't put a price on that. You can't, you can't. I know you can just look at the background here. You can't put the price. Yeah, on, come on, freedom. man. Yeah, no. I had I had my last vacation in uh, Laguna Beach in um, July, so you know I'm I'm ready for my next. But we got to put a little work in. I love it. That's great. That's so great. So uh, so how long have you been trading with top tier now? Yeah, so uh, top tier, like I said, I started. I think I bought the I caught the ninety percent profit promo. Uh -huh. And like the beginning of November. So right. uh, I've been trading since with top tier since the beginning of November. Since November. And now you're funded. And, and how much are you funded with? Yep. I'm funded with 200K. Yep. I said, go big or go home. I you love know it. You know what I'm saying? And you pass it in one time. One time, man. I said, it's 90% promo. They ain't going to do that again, right? right. It's you got to pass. They're giving out for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> we got to get that. I love it. I love it. So have you had your first payout yet? How's that going? No, not not yet, not yet. Like I said, I, I waited till like coming into the to the new year to actually mm -hmm. start trading since I got it at like the end of the year. But right. definitely in the next in the next couple of weeks, be looking out for it for sure. Right. So are you right now? You're trading. Are you are you trading in profit? How's that going? Right. As of right now, no. We in a little drawdown. Like I said, in in both of my tier tier one and tier two, we went in a little dip. And yeah. then we went on to pass it. I don't know why I do it to myself. It's probably something like get you together. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then I just, I just go crazy. So no, you'll get it. You'll get it. Um, well, if you wouldn't yeah. mind, could you pull up your, uh, your metric dashboard, maybe walk us through it and, and see what you're going through right now. Gotcha. You, gotcha. You. Okay. So that was tier one. So you want me to go to the one we're in now? Uh, yeah, let's, yeah, let's start with tier one. Okay. Yep. So, so like I said, you know, we took a what the lowest we got was about 193.5. So about a about a 75k dip. And then we went on in the next how uh, many trades is that? 70 trades. So from 17 to 70. So about 63 trades from there. We went on to complete tier one. And uh, I think it was eleven trading days. Yeah, eleven mm -hmm. trading. Nice. So what? What's uh? What was your win to loss rate? Let's look at that. Uh, seventy one percent, twenty nine percent loss rate. Wow, that's really good. That's great. Seventy eight days it took. Wow, man, that's really awesome. Um. So uh, so what what was some of your pairs that you were actually trading on? um that you were you were um, able to, i mean 71 percent. that's a really good win rate yeah so i believe let's go november i believe it was mostly us 30 and gold and believe it or not this was my first time trading us 30 but it's really? the first time playing with capital like that but i i gave it a shot so i i figured i can apply what i already knew to it i tried it worked out so I'm right with it. that's all that's great i can see too you're not really over leveraging either uh on your us 30 trades using 0.10s 0.2 <laughs> yeah, that's yeah good. We, we, 
<laughs> we're not playing with them like that. You know no, I, there's a lot of people that, you know, they'll drop a couple standards on US 30 and blow their account and, you know, a few pips and draw down. Yeah, Lose man. Look, one, the, the biggest lot I used on it was like a 1.001 time. And it, I think it was actually in this one and I broke it up. So you can see this 0 0.05 and this right. 0 0.04. That was actually one trade that I just kind of took profit partially each time. Right. So, right. yeah, but other than that, and I just was kind of sure of what was going on at that point. But other than that, like you said, I kind of just just slow rolled it to the finish line. I got you. So what, what kind of strategies are you using on US 30? That's what everyone wants to hear is, you know, everyone wants to be a good US 30 trader. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, actually, I mean, from from what I know, I apply the same things that I know from applying it to pairs to, to US 30. And, and the most important things I think to me is, you know, the session session change over times and actually um and actually just just waiting for the setup, being patient for it, um, and and looking at that 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 action to the higher law of the day right. and reacting to it. Right. That's the whole thing is wait for the right setup. Don't jump in on anything. There's no yeah, reason to you got all the time lead. in this. Yep. If you wait for the right setup, you're a lot better off, you know, than trying to force something and taking a huge loss, you know, because right. you're going you to hold, you're gonna hold big losses and then cut your short winners. Exactly. Right? You can force something for two days and then in one day, after just stressing yourself out for two days, make all that back in some. So there's right. no sense in you saying it, just stressing right. yourself out. So let's go back to uh, your tier two. Let's see how you did on that. All right. And so look like we started pretty steady, 205. Or the 25, 26, and then took a big, Dip yeah. probably didn't play press probably didn't put break evens or uh you know uh stop losses in the profit and just right. held you know profits that turned into losses probably for no reason right but uh so what that's two six so that's about a nine k bill yeah you got you got close to that cutoff yep <laughs> we, I, we I told you I don't, go ahead no nah. I was gonna say, I told you, I don't know why I do it to myself. And then it's just something that snaps like, bro, come on, you you better yeah. than this. And then I just. We had another guy that got within $5 of uh, losing his challenge. And he came all the way back and got a funded account. $5. Okay. Was, so, yeah. 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 That, that's crazy. That's, yeah. that's respected. That Anything's you possible. You know exactly what you did. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. What, what, mm -hmm. what size of account was he getting? Uh, I think it was a hundred thousand dollar account. He a hundred thousand dollar challenge. He got within five dollars of drawdown to losing the account, and he placed like a point oh one on US thirty, and it had a perfect entry, I guess. So you, know, <laughs> That's that you can't ever give up. Brought him life, hey man. You got to keep faith and you got to keep going, man. That's it, That's man. Right. Take your losses and, and, and check it up. That's so, right. One ninety six to so it looks like about thirty. Yeah, so about 13 trades, we took it from 196 to to the end, to 210. So about how many trades a day are you placing on on your uh, accounts? Are you are you scalping? Are you are you trying to intraday swing trade? What what's your what's your whole so, strategy? So so most most of them are, are going to be intraday, you know. And mm -hmm. if I say if I get a either a bad entry, then I ain't gonna say a bad entry. So if I get, yeah, I get a if I get a bad entry, then I just re-enter uh at a at a better place. Cause usually even my bad entry is in the crazy lot size. So I can usually just go into that negative and then just place a better one. So when it does go in my direction, then I'm I'm fully comfortable about, you know, even the negative that that was flowing. But uh I don't really keep account of exactly how many I placed. I just I just place them based off of either my goals for the day or even if I got a, even though revenge trading ain't anything, but when you know how to get your money back out of the market, if it's still time, sometimes you can do that and it actually works out for you too. So, Right. No, I love it, man. So, uh, so your first payout, what, what are you going to do? You're going to go 
a wire? Are you going to do Bitcoin? How you how you going to do it? What are you going to buy? Definitely Bitcoin, man. We got to put the profits on profits, man. Shout out to Q with that one, man. I, yeah. I watched one of his YouTube videos and he was talking about it. I was like, profits on profit? It makes sense to me. It I'm going to take it. Especially on the <laughs> dip right now. Yeah, it's, <laughs> exactly. Be aware now. Be aware. Exactly. But definitely profits on profit. Right, right. Well, uh, if you want to take us out of uh, your dashboard, um, okay. I want to invite someone in real quick. Okay. Let them say, hey, we got a special guest. We're all traveling down here, having fun, you know, working, working, trading, living it up. The life, right? The so, life we work for. Oh, here he comes. Yeah, I'll scoot over for yeah, you. Get the dog. There you go. What's up, my dude? Oh, Anthony, what's going on, man? Oh, man, another day in paradise, obviously. We are in the Maldives. I see it. I can't get, I can't see get too mad out man. here. Hey, man, I see it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, so I was just listening to a little bit of your uh, trading journey so far, and it's uh, super epic to see. And I love that, you know, we're funding traders like you you know, for you to be able to make profit. And I, I actually just talked about this on um, a reel the other day, not a real uh, Instagram video. It's about like, everyone is trying to like, trying to win big on a hundred dollar account or a $200 account. And, you know, coming from, you know, from me, it's like, I, I don't understand that mindset. It's like, why are you trying to make a million dollars on a hundred dollar account? <laughs> you are a thousand dollar account, you know, when you can make three or 4% a week on a very, very large account become by becoming a funded trader. So if you could, could you give any advice to uh, young traders in the industry? Because um, I get asked this all the time. And so a lot of young traders are going to see this. If you give some advice on like why you chose to go the, the funding option instead of trading your own capital and what would you recommend to them to do? Like you said, I mean, for the most part, I was, I was a maintenance technician. So I, I could still clear 100000 in a year but the fact is knowing, knowing the potential of trading and then like you said knowing that you have options to actually use somebody else's capital yeah you can easily put forth five ten twenty thousand but when you're talking six figure accounts right you're not just going you know dig that out of nowhere so when it's available to you and you feel like you had a skill set give it a try and and for the most part it, what, what can you lose in the long run if if you do you know believe in yourself and make it through and and now you have access to that to actually make anything, anything you need to make. I agree. I agree. So like I um, so at first for me, I was like totally against prop firms. Like I was against the funding method. Like when I first like was into it, I heard all these companies and they were like doing it. And I was like, man, I'm kind of like against this because you don't learn a lot. But then I realized like sometimes like, you know, you, you have to sit back in your own mindset and think about it because sometimes like you are your own worst enemy. And I was like, I was like, I was being stubborn and I was realizing, and it's like, and then I realized it's because I didn't have these when I first started trading. And if I had these, when I first started trading, my trading journey probably would have went a lot different. Not that I would change what I had, but I would have went a lot differently. And it's like, I sit back and I look at it and it's like, you know, on a, on a hundred thousand dollar account, you can fail a challenge 10 times and then pass it one time out of that 10 times and then make 10% on that challenge and you're still making money and you're still <laughs> profitable. You can't do that on a, on a small $1,000 account. You yeah. can't do that. And so that's like what, it, what it's how all about. And, you know, I love funding good traders because it's, I mean, it's making all of us money at the end of the day, it's making all of us I mean, money. You're and putting so, us in position, bro. I mean, like I said, even like I said, tra transitioning from the nine to five to four X, that's the best position you can put yourself in, especially, and literally I did it like right after, like two months after I, I quit the job and everything. And I had been, of course, trading for like a year and a half or so, just learning the skill. It was time. So if it's time to transition, when I when I took that leap, it, it puts you in the best position because it almost puts you in a position as if you have a new job, but now you're on your time you know, and you can make unlimited capital. Like you can't beat that, man. Exactly. Exactly. I love it, man. I love it. Well, keep it up, man. Keep crushing it. And I mean, 
man, I mean, go be solid, go for, go for 10% a month and you're making, you're making a lot of money. And it's just like, exactly. you know, just keep exactly. going other accounts and go for that. Go, go for that two mil, be the first 2 million account holder for us. Hey, 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 we working on it. Like I said, just I love keep it. a lookout, man. We got big payouts and I'm definitely coming for 2M. So you just be waiting on it. I love it, man. I hope I hope you're the first. If you're the first 2M, maybe we'll maybe we'll take you to a trip like this or something. Hey man, I'm gonna be we're, gonna, we're gonna do hey, something look, special I, for the first person that gets a two million dollar. We account. have to, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, and, and when I do it, I'm the type that I'm I'm gonna do something for y'all too, just because you know we we live in the <laughs> life at that point. You know what I'm saying? I love it. We live it we live in our best life. We live in our yeah, best life. You know what I'm saying? So it's all good. I love it. I love it. Well, I'm gonna let Grant over here close it out, but it was a pleasure talking to you, my dude. And uh, stay safe, stay blessed, and uh, have a good one, man. Appreciate you showing love, man. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. We appreciate that. Yep, I appreciate it, man. Chris, man, I just want to say thank you so much for coming on. This has been epic. I'm sure everyone's gonna love this. We're you know all the way down here doing this interview, and happy you got funded. You gotta let me know how your first payout goes. You know, maybe we do a follow-up interview or something. It'd be great. I'd be ready for it. Definitely, definitely. Hey, look, y'all in the my I'm going to have to do my first payout um, somewhere else, man. Y'all going to have to get a background in me at that point. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, man. Well, uh, thank you again. And, um, yeah, definitely, you know, till next time. So thank you for tuning in to this interview with Chris. Uh, remember to like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and as always, we hope to see you as our next top-tier trader.